The Heilongjiang Reclamation Area in northeast China has seen another bumper harvest this autumn. Known as Beidahuang, or vast wasteland in the north, it was once desolate. After more than 70 years of reclamation efforts, Beidahuang has emerged as one of China's leading paddy rice growers. In September 2018, Chinese President Xi Jinping visited a local agricultural machinery center during a research trip to Heilongjiang Province. Xi stressed that China has taken Beidahuang as a strategic base to develop agriculture as a strategic industry. After more than half a century, great changes have taken place, with remarkable progress made in mechanization, information, and intelligent technologies. Which was really impressive. Beidahuang has played a great role in meeting the basic needs of the Chinese people. 过去啊，北大荒夏天，沼泽遍布，野狼出没，蚊虫成群。冬天最低气温零下四十摄氏度，全年中三分之二的时间是冬天。In 1947. People's Liberation Army troops came to the wasteland to establish the earliest farms here. The early years of New China saw acute food shortages, so reclaiming Beidahuang became a top priority in food production efforts. The first large-scale cultivation started in the 1950s. When a hundred thousand retired soldiers arrived and set up state-owned farms, 一开始没有农具，副转官兵就从日寇遗留的地下工事里捡来炮弹皮、废铜烂铁等自制农具。产地、培土、收割、打粮，全靠人工。早起三点半。比例山东话，虽然很累，但觉得人家大家吃饱饭，都觉得很光荣。In the 1980s, as the Heilongjiang Reclamation Area introduced a pilot scheme to open family farms, some Beidahuang locals chose to start their own businesses without hesitation. Ge Bailin and his wife were among them. 半家庭农场就意味着要成为投入生产利益和风险自担的主体。我当时从分厂厂长的位置上辞职，承包农场牲畜的一块荒地。After three years of hard work, the couple's family farm reclaimed more than 330 hectares of wasteland. Meanwhile, more independent family farms mushroomed in the tide of reform. In 1995, Beidahuang's grain output exceeded 5 billion kilograms for the first time. In 2020. The Beidahuang Group, a local agricultural conglomerate, provided about 20 billion kilograms of grain for other parts of the country, accounting for 20 percent of the total. The vast wasteland has turned into Beidahuang, a big grain producer. Thanks to technological development, agriculture in Beidahuang has taken off. Many researchers and technicians here were born in the 1980s or 1990s. 我从小在这片土地长大，大学学的是农学专业，毕业后又回到这里。我正在做土壤测试分析，检测土壤中有机元素的含量，监测土壤中重金属元素情况，为黑土地耕作和保护提供数据支撑。Beidahuang has now basically realized mechanization in the whole process of plowing, planting, management, and harvesting. Farms use satellite positioning and cloud computing to achieve accurate management of the vast farmland. Xi Jinping attaches great importance to the issue of food security. He said, "We must always have control over our own food supply." We must always have control over our own food supply. We must always have control over our own food supply. We must always have control 不断筑牢粮食安全保障的基座，把中国人的饭碗牢牢端在自己手中。